Hey guys, you see the title of the video down below, <laughs> and I will provide links down in the description, but I want to uh, come on here, give you my initial thoughts and reaction uh, to the new Animaniacs 2020 uh, reboot, a soft reboot, soft retcon uh, trailer, as I view it. And um, I have to say that it looks pretty good. It looks uh, it looks basically the same as it, w as it did basically about 20 years ago. Um, you can definitely tell that with this series, uh, not only is it staying true to the original spirit of the show, um, and how they fourth wall break and all meta human and all that, but you could definitely tell that they're playing up the whole timeline deal, uh, because basically you have the, uh, you have the Warner siblings, like one of the images has them coming out of a grave, like dead zombies, but it's act but perfectly fine. Um... Another one has them interacting with the new CEO of, uh, of Warner Brothers in the show. And she's showing them a tablet. And, you know, you have, ya I think it was a Yakko mistaking it for a tablet. You would swallow it with a drink of water. And then he has his own kind of reaction where it basically gives them like, all this knowledge and all something, something like that. Um, you have them taking shots and uh, par taking shots at all kinds of uh, other generals, uh, generals out there. Like, you have them taking a, a shot at the anime general, because there's a, a scene that they show where you have this anime version, and obviously it's done by anime artists, or people that knew how to draw anime. You have uh, this, you have these big bulked up anime versions of the Warners, and, and all that. You have a Dot shooting some rainbows out of her eyes, kind of anime-ish. Um, you have her... Uh, basically interacting with a unicorn who says, I, I bring you to news of war and all that. And then she puts her fingers to the unicorn's lips like, uh, less talky, more flappy, <laughs> you know. Um, so it's pretty good. I mean, obviously, the playing up the fact that the Warners are self-aware of the time change of things, you know, uh, from a decade perspective changing around them, as well as they're self-aware of the fact that they're in a reboot. Or in a soft reboot or a soft retcon. Because even the way they started out, you have you know, have Yakko and Dot basically talking about how, you know, you know, downgrading and disgusting re reboots are. And then all of a sudden you hear this voiceover in the background going like, well, here's your ch check or your whatever check, you sellouts. And all you see on them splattered around, all you see on them like the outfits that represent the traditional outfits. Like the pants on Yakko and the dress on Dot, they're all green and they got the Hulu logo on it. And then you see the big, big like this big old float come on crashing down that says with the word Hulu on it. So again, they're playing up, they're playing up the fact that they're very self-aware of what's going on. And like I said, they're also playing up the fact that they're getting used to um, everything that's happened or all the changes that have happened and occurred around them. I mean, they they go as far as even playing up the fact in in the trailer, or or at least one of the trailers, they play up the fact that Yakko, not Yakko, but Wacko, uh, left a sandwich in a place that's guarded by all these lasers. So they're playing up the whole, I guess, uh, Mission Impossible, uh, Black Widow, whatever, getting past the lazy grid, laser grid kind of stuff. They're playing that up, and he says. You know, he looked at the sandwich, he's like, ah, just like I left it, and all that. And it's all moldy. The sandwich is all moldy and everything. Uh, and, of course, you see Pinky and the Brain in there. And, again, they're getting up to the times. I don't know if their part of the show is going to be the same way, where they'll be self-aware. But they are playing up the fact of the, hey, Blade, what are, hey, Blade, what are we going to do tonight? And Brain going like, the same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over. And as soon as he said, and he's about to say world, all of a sudden you have uh, the uh, the people in charge of the lab, or at least I, I don't, um, associates of the lab, the ones in these hazmat suits, dumping stuff on top of them, and Pinky just pops out of it going like, ha ha ha, phone party. So, yeah, again, they're very self -aware. Again, you know, even with Pinky and the brain, they're playing up the whole, uh, meta-ness meta and everything, the social media, stuff like that. So it's, so overall, the, the trailer definitely did its job to get you hyped up for the, uh, for the soft reboot, soft retcon, because that's what it is. It's not a hard reboot. It's not a, 
It's not a hard, straight-up reboot, a hard, straight-up retcon or anything like that. It's a soft reboot, soft retcon. Uh, and the difference between the two is a soft retcon and reboot, you know, compared to a hard one, is bas basically what a soft one is, is it's still continuing in the same continuity. It's still the same story. The only difference is either there's a time jump or uh, basically... Uh, the world has changed in some ways and memories have been swapped or being um, reorganized, being uh, rearranged, stuff like that. But it's basically still the same continuity, especially when you have some of the main characters being self-aware or at least learning about the past finally and connecting all the dots so that you know even the newest readers or the newest viewers are not lost, um, when, the, are not lost when they end up reading the comic uh, where the soft retcon or reboot takes place, or watching the show where that soft retcon reboot uh, takes place. You know, and when you compare it to a hard one, a hard one basically is straight up starting all over again. You know, starting all over with an issue number one, and here's a new take on the origin of this person, here's a new take on the origin of that group, here's a new take on this, here's a new take on that, da da da. That's basically what you look at as a hard reboot and retcon. But what Animaniacs is doing is basically they're taking the soft reboot, the soft retcon route to where it's basically in the same continuity, but it, it's 20 years later. It's 20 plus years later. And you have the Warners uh, kind of getting used to it, but also being self-aware, self-meta about it, uh, you know, about what's been going on, about the, you know, about learning about the reboots that happen and making fun of it, making a mockery of it. Uh, and again, they do the same with the Gen Raws, like, you know, with anime, they take a shot at anime, you know, they take a shot at, obviously, with the unicorn thing, the unicorn that, uh, or the alicorn that um, Don is writing, and she says, less talking, more flappy. You obviously see him taking a shot at She-Ra and the Princesses of Power and maybe even My Little Pony, uh, Friendship is Magic. So you got a lot of stuff going on here. And they even take shots at uh, social media uh, because the ending is, you know, you have them saying the song and even Dot saying uh, a line that rhymes with it or something like that. And uh, then you have them, then you have it just zoom out and you see it's on uh, YouTube or kind of like a YouTube like uh, site. And Brain's like, now we just wait for the likes or something to roll in. And all of a sudden you get this one like. And Brain turns around and he sees it's Pinky using his mobile phone to put that like in, you know. Um, and, and again, if, speaking of Pinky and the Brain, they also use them to kind of take a shot at like online dating because Pinky's looking up uh, a potential date, love interest, and he brings up a picture of a dead catfish, you know, as a potential one. So again, it's so again, basically this this trailer, in in, in my opinion, when you take everything that I've talked about and once you click on the link and you watch it yourself it, basically it gets you it takes everything that I just mentioned and gets you ready it gets you hyped up it gets you invested to want to see exactly what this is going to be like and it does like I said it does stay true to the spirit of the show and it is in my opinion it's, it's not a hard reboot it's not a you know hard retcon it's a soft reboot it's a soft retcon because it takes place um, in the same continuity as the original show, but there are some changes. Uh, you don't have uh, plots in charge of the Warner of the Warner Company in this show anymore. You have this new woman, that, this new young lady, a Latina woman, obviously, that's in charge. And I guess she kind of gets self-aware of what's going on, break, fourth break wall, or break a fourth wall kind of deal uh, as, as well, because as soon as, you know, Yako eats the tablet, you know, that she shows him, you know, like the Wall Street Journal on and everything. She just looks at the camera like, what just happened? It's like, what it just what just happened? You know, after she sees his in initial reaction to digesting all that information from the tablet. Uh, so again, so again, it did its job, in my opinion. It did its job. It's got me hooked, uh, hooked and hyped to see what they do here. Uh, some people say that some people have come out already, I should say, and have mentioned that it didn't show any new characters yet, that it's just focused on the Warners and, and Pinky and the Brain and the new CEO woman. And, you know, yeah, that's true, it did, but um, 
you got to remember when the original Animaniacs and even the original Tiny Toons came out, you know, when they would do previews for them or trailers for them uh, back in the 90s, even though we didn't have no YouTube or Facebook or anything back then. But even when they would do the little like little TV spots, TV trailers for these shows, they didn't show all the characters. They didn't show us uh, the Good Feathers. They didn't show us Minerva. They didn't show us uh, the uh, the Hippos. They didn't show us uh, Rita and Runt or Slappery and Skippy uh, just yet. They waited until we got to the show, or to the show officially debuted, to bring all those characters out, not just in the intro, but in their own um, animated shorts that were shown throughout the series. So just because you don't see any of the new characters now, or any example of the wackiness. I mean, you do get a few of the wackiness, a few of the wackiness, if you will. I mean, heck, they when they're doing the intro or the new take on the intro, they they play up the fact that you have that Warner Brothers has expanded to the point that in this intro you see Huckleberry Hound and you see Yogi Bear. So at least they're playing up the fact that there's been some new additions to the Warner family. Uh, but besides that, like I said. You kind of get a, a little bit of a taste of the wackiness with the, you know, with Dot hitting uh, her brothers with the mallet and then saying the line 20 years later and I'm still a knockout. And then you have, you know, uh, Yako doing the same thing to Wacko doing the intro towards towards the end of what's going to be the intro. So, um, so yeah, basically it's definitely got people like me intrigued, if not hopeful and hyped up to see what they have planned next. And uh, yeah, they didn't show everybody just yet. If you, unless you look at the background uh, towards the end of the video when they're showing us a bit of the ending of the intro, you might get an idea. But uh, overall, I think it, I think it did its job. I think you know, I think it's got us hyped up and ready, to, ready for its premiere uh, next month. And that's all I can really say. Um, are we going to see any other gags in there that we're used to seeing with the original Animaniacs? Uh, yeah, I really do. Yeah, I really do think we're going to, to see that. I think we will. I think we will see more of the uh, Tex Avery wild takes and all that um, as the show progresses. And, you know, that's why we didn't see much of it here um, in this trailer because they're saving it for uh, the show. We're, they're saving most of that for the show so that you could see that it's, it's an all-new... Uh, it, it's basically an updated version of the same show Oh, and everything, but it still has that silly, silliness and wackiness that, you know, was the spirit of the original. Or helped carry the original to being the phenomenon that it was. So, yeah, I definitely expect to see a lot of those traditional wild takes that we got originally uh, with the characters. I expect to see things like the Lustful Melt Gag, where the character melts into a puddle of goo. Um, at this site, an attractiveness of another character, whether it's a girl doing that in the sight of a a handsome male or a guy doing that at the side of a voluptuous female or heck maybe they play with the lgbtq deal and you know they do it with woman seeing attractive woman and both do the the gag or something or the same with the guys i don't know so yeah they'll probably play that up as well oh well, uh, if they're bringing the gags back in and they are and i guarantee you they are if they decide that's one of them they're going to bring in or bring back then i could definitely see them doing that and um in the show as it progresses um starting uh starting next month again just because we didn't see much here doesn't mean we're going to get a we're not going to get a lot in the first 13 episodes because we will so um that's all i can really say though guys on the animaniacs uh soft reboot soft retcon uh trailer for the new series uh let me know what your thoughts are down below i'll provide a link if i can uh, again, I'm not going to show any footage due to copyright situations, and of course I want to try to keep my channel montizing as much as I could. I'm off to a good start right now, so I don't want to you know, ruin that. <laughs> but again, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Animaniacs reboot trailer. Uh, what do you expect to see in the future? Do you expect any of the gags that I mentioned to come into play uh, in the first 13 episodes? And that's about it. So that's all I can say, guys. So till next time, God bless, take care. Peace, stay safe, and I'm out.